Hello, welcome back to another Bacon Plays. Today we'll be looking, or more like a Bacon Leaks, because we're going to be looking at the Fallout 76 Season 12 scoreboard. So let's just jump right into it. So let's first take a look at the scoreboard itself. So here's a scoreboard. It looks very cryptid themed. Looks like we're going to have a lot of cryptid rewards in this game board. It's like some cryptid hunters are hunting Mothman. Rip Daring, like a Van Helsing figure. Alright, now let's look at some of the rewards. Reward, rewards, cryptid themed rewards, including Kevin and Steven Scareberry. And this is all leaks, so this is an official Fallout. Bethesda hasn't posted an official game board thing, so these are all leaks, not confirmed. So first thing is, is the Light Ally Steven Scareberry. He looks like a, a Mothman cultist by the looks of it. And the next we have a Mothman Chandelier. Interesting. I wonder what kind of lighting it has, if it's white lighting or orange lighting. Then we have a rustic bed. Okay. And then next we have a Mothman plushie. Now this is already on a backpack or a, yeah, on a backpack. They're just taking it and putting it into a plushie that's all wrapped up, Mothman plushie. And then next we have Grafton monster plushie, to be honest. It doesn't look too good. But here's one of my favorites, the Flatwoods Monster Plushie. I think this one's the best plushie out of all of them. And then there's also a Big Feet rug, but there's no pictures for that. A Sheep Squatch rug, and there's no pictures of that either. But I also do have a picture for a Hunter's Throne Chair. Looks like it just has antlers and some wood on it. And that's about it. And then there's a Deadly Predator Rip Daring poster, Tales from the West Virginia Hills poster, and I have no pictures on that so far. And then a Mounted Grafton Monster Arm. You could use that in like a horror camp, like if I put a mirror on, then put the hand on. Other than that, there's no real use for it except for putting them on. Home of the Cryptid sign. I don't know what that looks like. There's no picture or screenshot on that yet. And then a get ripped exercise machine, nothing on that. And then there's also a very interesting one, a hunter's lodge. It looks like one of the placeable structures that you can put down. This one, it looks nice. It looks two fours. I don't know if this is a camp set, rebuild out of a set, or if it's just a plop down structure. But that does look nice with the red steel roofing the chimney, the stairs, it, the balcony, it just all looks nice. And then here's one of my favorites, the Mothman Sculpture Lamp. This thing looks adorable. It'd definitely be in my camp. Next is a stone fireplace. I mean, we already have a couple fireplaces, but one can't hurt. A cryptid taxidermy beer steins display, just a display for beer steins. And the next is a wine cellar rack. You can probably display maybe wine on it. And it doesn't say display, so I don't know. And here's the beer stein of the season scoreboard. Looks like a sheep squatch and a cryptid hunter on it with a sheep squatch horn handle. And then next is a foliage turret set. This is probably gonna be a turret set just to paint for turrets. And the next is a Taxidermy's Tinker's Workbench. So we got a new reskin of the Tinker's Workbench. There's no picture for that. And then the Hunter's Blind Survival Tent. If you don't know what a blind is, I'll put a picture up. Moving on, we got a Taxidermy Beer Stein display. Oh, and this one, we do have a picture. This one looks ridiculous. It's just the bear holding beer steins. Imagine there's a bear walking out with beer steins. You want a point? Next on is Daring's Heavy Cryo Turret, just a reskin for a turret. And the next is a Cryptid Hunt wallpaper. 
there's no picture or screenshot for that so that could be nice could be ugly and rustic looking but we'll see next is the vault tech tools stash box just a stash box looks pretty standard next is a clean bathtub I've been waiting for this one to be honest for a clean bathroom set I have the clean toilet I have the clean sink I've been waiting for the clean bathtub and finally I get a clean bathtub for my bathroom and my camp <laughs> Anyways, moving on. The firewood pile. Maybe this will be like a, a resource thing where you can get wood from daily, but it just looks like a decoration. <clears throat> Next is a timber carpet floor and foundations. This is probably just going to be a wood floor, timber wood floor, but there's no picture for it, so we don't know. Next is a curio sign. Maybe there's gonna be a new curious in it, I don't know. Not confirmed, but just an idea. Next is a violin chair. Next is a framed Rip Daring poster. No picture on the Hunt poster. Chase Rip Daring poster and a bunch of other posters, but I have no pictures for it. And then here we got some placeable objects, like the pre-war toaster, the pre-war typewriter, and the pre-war desk fan. Now this. It could be nice for decorating on like desks and kitchens and living rooms for the desk fan. Yeah, that's a nice toaster. And then just a normal toaster. Okay. And then a typewriter, a screenshot, desk fan, a screenshot. All right, and those are all like the items, like camp items. Next, we're moving on to utilities. All right, this utility looks like a swing set with a hung rag stag. Maybe you can get meat from it daily or blood from it daily. Take blood, I don't know. Next is player icons. A sheep squatch icon, but there's no picture. Could look nice. Could look nice. I don't know. What's up find out? Next is backplaques and flares. We got today, it looks like a bird skull. Interesting. And next we have like a bone fingernail necklace and then next is a bunch of armor paints so we got that paint that paint i don't really like the paints they put in the scoreboards they just put a lot and just overfills it oh i like this paint though cheap squatch power armor paint yeah i like the cheap squatch power armor paint i will do too Next, we got weapon skins, a smoked bear arm paint. There's a picture. And then a, hmm, see if I can say this right. Kukri, kukri, like a kukri, kukri. Paints for a machete, just no picture. And then a gold cold shoulder paint. No screenshot or picture yet. And then there's also gonna be a pit boy paint. It's good they're putting in a pit boy paint because they don't have a lot of pit boy paints in scoreboards. There was only one, the Atomic Gilded one. This was the Daring Adventure Pip-Boy paint. Little stripes, looks nice. And I don't understand this one. This one's a weapon. They're adding in a weapon you can get from the score board. Might be a new thing called the Cold Shoulder. And then there's going to be emo too called One More Time emo. Maybe it's like, I'll give you one more chance emo or something like that. I don't know. And then there's photo mode frames, Scorch Beast Season, Headhunter photo mode frame, Hogtide Hunter photo mode frame. No pictures for that. And then score boost. And that's about it. Um, thank you for joining me for this leak about the newest season scoreboard. I'm excited for it. Right after Foshnock ends on February 28th. Yes, February 28th. It's going to go into the new season of Fallout, which is season 12, the new scoreboard. It looks like a lot of cryptid things are coming into the game. Cryptid items, maybe a new cryptid event, like a cryptid Flatwoods event, or maybe even a Grafton Monster event. I don't know, but it looks interesting. And thank you for joining me for this week video, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta.